Let's make some vertical rope lighting and we're going to do it on a per project basis for this. So for this project, you can see here, I've got a 36 inch tall upper cabinet. So I'm going to use the rope light tool and this is in your default toolbars underneath the lights, but I've got it set as an individual item here on my toolbar. So I'm going to use that rope light tool and I'm going to start to draw that out. And for a 36 inch cabinet, maybe I'll make a 33 inch vertical rope light. So I'm going to draw this out, hit tab or enter, and then I'll type in my 33 inch. So long as polar is checked, that should get you a 33 inch long symbol. Now from here, I'm going to in my edit toolbar, convert selected to symbol. Okay, it's going to give me these options. I'm going to make sure I'm selecting electrical. And in this case, I don't care to add this to my library. So I'm just going to have show advanced options checked and that's important. So let me press OK. It's going to bring up a dialog box. From here in our general tab, we're going to do a couple things. Actually, we're going to go to our 3D panel here. So 3D panel, let's rotate this in the Y 90 degrees. You're going to see that flips this thing uh, to a vertical up and down and then we'll rotate it 90 degrees again in the Z, okay? From there, we want to get to the light data panel. We're going to specify this as a light. So after we've specified this as a light, I want to make sure that the source type is actually a spotlight, and we're going to see we've got a directional arrow here. That's a 3D directional arrow. It's telling us the direction of the light. Well, I want to flip that around 180 degrees so it's facing the other way. From there, I want to change the cutoff angle. I want a 140 degree cutoff angle for this and then the drop off rate, maybe I'll increase it to something like 15. You can adjust that later as, you, as, as it pleases you. From here in the Z position under the offset section, I wanna increase this by three inches. So that's raising that three inches from the bottom of this symbol. Now I'm able to copy this light any number of times to be able to stack these up. Now by default, the rope lights in Chief Architect have an increment of three inches. So I'm gonna go ahead and add three inches to the Z position, then copy the light again. Let's make it nine inches, copy the light again, and on up the line. Just keep doing this until you get to the top of the run. And I'm gonna leave my last one at 30 inches. There we go. So let me go ahead and press okay. This will allow me to place this light and we're gonna do a couple of modifications from here. One is in my edit toolbar, I want to go ahead and hit edit CAD block. I'm gonna bring up the edit CAD block window and I'm gonna make my own symbol in this case. I'm gonna draw out a circle, something about maybe about that size and I'm gonna draw out a couple lines. Now let me draw a marquee around this whole thing and I'm in contain selection mode and I'm gonna center it up on this existing symbol here and then, excuse me, this existing polyline and I'll delete that polyline. Then I'll close this window and it asks me if I wanna save the changes to the CAD block. I do and for all instances. There we go, I have a new symbol. Now it might be that the symbol is a little bit too large for your liking so you can always come back here and edit it again. We can draw a marquee over the whole thing and hit that dot edit handle. Okay, and shrink this whole thing down. And then we can close that window again and save. Perfect. Now one more thing I wanna do, I wanna go ahead and open up this symbol and I wanna make sure that the offset is uh, from floor is what I need it to be. So my cabinets are set from 54 inches from finished floor. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this to 56 inches offset from floor. Now when I place this just inside of this cabinet, this should be working. So let me go ahead and make a copy of it. I'll place it on the other side as well. And maybe we'll even make a copy and put some in this corner cabinet. And we can use that directional arrow to change the direction of our symbol, right? Now, just as a guess and check, we wanna make sure that we're looking at this and that it's on the electrical layer. It is in fact, is on the electrical layer. So let me go ahead and bring up this camera. So here we go. Let's go ahead and make this other cabinet a glass cabinet. We can see what's going on. Now it does look like these are illuminated, but it doesn't look like it's illuminated evenly. So one thing you might need to do is that you might need to come into the edit active view, wherever that is on your toolbars, 
and we might need to specify that we have more maximum lights or create a new light set. Now you can always adjust or create a specific light set. I like to make light sets based on rooms, so I'm gonna make a kitchen light set. And for this kitchen light set, I do in fact want all of these lights turned on. There we go. We can now see that the corner cabinet is illuminated and we might need to adjust the intensity of those lights. You have any kind of light bleeding that means that the lights themselves are interrupting some of the ge geometry of the cabinet so it might be that you're pushing through the top or the bottom of the box of the cabinet itself and as you add more lights to the scene that might balance the way these particular lights look so before you go ahead and make a bunch of adjustments make sure that you've got the appropriate number of lights in your scene and that they're all turned on because as we introduce new light sources the intensity of the interior of those cabinet lights is going to change and there you go. Enjoy.